Hi, it's James here from Mozillion, and today we're taking a closer look at Apple's iPhone 12, the sequel to the 11. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons and we'll get straight into it. The iPhone 12 is the standard model in the iPhone 12 series. It's bigger than the iPhone 12 mini, as you'd expect, but it's smaller and less feature rich than the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Therefore, it costs you a bit less too. With the iPhone 13 offering only minor improvements, the iPhone 12 remains a brilliant do-anything phone full of high-end features, as you'll discover in our review. You can buy the iPhone 12 in purple, blue, green, red, white, and black. It's also MagSafe compatible, so easy to further customize with a choice of MagSafe cases and accessories. Some 14 years and 14 generations since its launch, the iPhone still looks and feels pretty special. While rivals experiment with radical ideas like folding screens, the iPhone 12 is just a subtle update over the 11. Its most obvious update is the new 6.1 inch Super Retina XDR display, which stretches almost to the very edge of the phone to give you a nice big viewing area for photos and videos. Overall, the iPhone 12 is slightly smaller than the 11, and at 162 grams, it's lighter too. While the iPhone 12 Pro models get a stainless steel body, the iPhone 12 is aluminium. The iPhone 12 introduced one other significant design change from previous models. Where earlier iPhones all had a rounded edge, the iPhone 12 family feature straight sides and almost no rounding where they meet the front and the back. It looks distinctive, singling out the iPhone 12 from the others that came before it. But with sharper, hard edges, you may find the 12 isn't as comfortable in the hand, although it's certainly not as easy to drop it. The iPhone 12 is built around its 6.1 inch organic LED display. Whilst it's similar to the 5.8 inch screen on the iPhone 11 Pro, it squeezes in a huge 2532 by 1170 pixel resolution. It's capable of incredible detail, tiny text and diagonal lines, things like that look super smooth and graphics and images really do pop. The display stretches almost to the edge of the phone with only a tiny metal border surrounding it. It's the ultimate realization really of Apple's bezel free design image itself doesn't quite reach the edge of the glass and while other phones even cheaper ones have tiny cutouts for the front facing camera the iphone 12 still has its big notch it's a bit smaller on the iphone 13. at 60 hertz in terms of refresh rate the iphone 12 screen refresh rate is also slower than some of the high-end android flagship rivals the iphone 12 features apple's blisteringly fast a14 bionic processor and it has 5g network support it improves on the iPhone 11 in many ways, being waterproof to three times the depth and featuring lush OLED screen that knocks spots off the old LCD one that we saw in the 11. In terms of camera and video performance, while its screen and design have moved on from the iPhone 11, the iPhone 12 shares much the same camera setup as the 11, and that's not really a bad thing. Around the back, you've got dual 12 megapixel camera setup that offers wide and ultra wide angles, plus there's a five times digital zoom. One small change is that the wide camera now has a slightly larger aperture, which means it can capture more light in darker environments. There are plenty of video features packed in there too, including HD slow-mo mode at up to 240 frames per second and optical image stabilization to help keep your action shots totally shake free. For the iPhone 12, Apple has added HDR recording with Dolby Vision and a new time-lapse night mode. The front camera also has a 12 megapixel sensor and gains night mode and HDR Dolby Vision recording over the iPhone 11. It's really hard to fault the iPhone 12's photo and video performance. It's fast to focus, it's quick to capture still images, either individually or in bursts. And while the various camera modes provide scope for creativity, just pointing and shooting almost always ends in a shot that you'll want to keep. Rivals such as the OnePlus 9 Pro offer higher resolution and similarly high quality results, but the iPhone 12 is still among the best. During burst shooting, where lesser phones lag as they work through a backlog of image processing, the iPhone 12's fast processor ensures it stays responsive and keeps shooting. Apple has tweaked the cameras on the iPhone 13, further improving low light performance and adding new features like cinematic mode. And while they're worth having, they're probably not enough reasons solely to upgrade from an iPhone 12. The iPhone 12 is powered by Apple's own A14 Bionic chip, which blows away previous iPhones. The iPhone 12 is similarly stunning when it comes to gaming. It notched up the best score of 2216 in the 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme benchmark test. While we tested the iPhone 11, which managed a credible 2141 on the same test, 
a Google Pixel 4a didn't even break 300. Apple says the iPhone 12 battery is good for up to 17 hours of video playback, 11 hours of video streaming, or more than two days of audio. As always, it's hard to say how long it'll actually last in real life, but in our own tests, the iPhone 12 looped a full screen movie for just under 14 hours before the battery ran out. The battery will easily go all day, so as long as you don't overdo it with gaming or video games. We tested charging time using a 20 watt charger. From fully empty, the iPhone 12 took almost three minutes to turn on, after which it charged rapidly. It reached 50% in just 28 minutes, so emergency top ups are quick. They hit 80% charge after 53 minutes with 100% charge finished within two hours. The iPhone 12 works with existing iPhone chargers and accessories via the lightning port and QI wireless charging pads. You can also choose from a range of MagSafe accessories that promise quicker and easier fitting and more accurate alignment for wireless charging. And finally, it's worth flagging that there are no headphones and there is no charger included in the box of the iPhone 12. If you buy the phone from Mazillion, either new or refurbished, it includes a charging cable in the box, which you'll be pleased to know. In terms of build quality and things to look out for, with no moving parts, there's precious little to go wrong with a typical iPhone, provided it's looked after and kept in a case. The iPhone 12's incredibly strong screen glass should resist all but the most violent knocks, but it's worth knowing that the rear glass is less tough. One additional note is that many users report the 5G can be pretty power hungry. The iPhone 13 offers no radical improvements over the iPhone 12, which remains a great phone. It crams a huge screen into a stylish mid-sized body and combining it with blistering speed and high quality cameras, the iPhone 12 is still capable of filling almost any role. If you want a sleek, everyday phone, then the iPhone 12 combines great design with the convenience of all day battery life and the speed of 5G. That's everything from me today. Please like and subscribe for more from Mozillion, the mobile phone marketplace. And if you're looking to sell your old phone or buy yourself a new one, head on over to mozillion.com. Thank you for watching. I'm James, and I'll see you again soon with another video.